기다리고 있네요. 자, 그러면. Hey guys, today I'd like to talk about homemade dog food. I started making dog food about two years ago when Cookie started having a stomach issue. She was having diarrhea and there was blood in her poop, so we tried everything to find a cause. And at the same time, we tried to improve her general diet. Since then, I've tried different ways to cook and prepare healthy dog food and found a way that works for me. So I'd like to share it with you guys. This is just what I do, and of course, you may want to use different ingredients or different ways of cooking or preparation. So just take some tips that are helpful for you and hope you will find your own way that works for you. While preparing for this video, I thought I would calculate how much of what nutrients our dogs need per day and how much of what food that would be. My dogs are both 5 kilos and both are adults. They need about 350 calories per day and according to my calculation, they need this much food per day. For example, one medium potato for a carb, 40 grams of beef, a little less than a tablespoon of olive oil. It looks like I can feed more carb than I usually do. A bit more fat would be okay, but I'm a little careful because Cookie doesn't react well to fat. And I also realized I can diversify veggie options more and also the fact that I haven't given them yogurt for a while. I used to make a big batch of dog food and freeze them in small portion sizes, but these days I'm making about 3 days worth of food and keep them in the fridge. It's simply my personal preference, or my dog's preference I guess, because I felt that my dogs like fresh food more than defrosted food. Also, my freezer is not very big to keep all the dog food. In terms of cooking methods, some dog owners use slow cookers or food processors, but I just use small pots and make small portions of each ingredient whenever I have time. If you prefer to cook all the ingredients in a big batch once a week, it's also fine. I just like preparing food bit by bit. And now here are some ingredients that I use often. Here's one of my dog's favorite ingredients, broccoli. Both Toffee and Cookie like it, so I often include it in their meals. I wash it in running water and steam it instead of boiling it. I heard that this way, more nutrients are maintained. I cook broccoli for about 20 minutes. When it gets softer, I cool it a little and chop it. My dogs are small, so I cut all the ingredients pretty small. I also learned from experience that the dogs like a certain texture. When the broccoli is too hard or too mushy, they don't like it. Next is carrots and potatoes. I chop carrots first as it takes longer to cook. Carrots are an excellent source of vitamin A, especially beta-carotene. Beta-carotene is an antioxidant, which is good for eyes and skin, and reduces age-related cognitive decline and protects against metabolic syndrome, like high blood pressure or high blood sugar. I cook carrots long enough about 30 minutes, until they get soft. About 10 minutes after starting to cook carrots, I add potatoes in the same pot. The preparation is similar to carrots. I chop them in small cubes. Potatoes are packed with vitamins and minerals, and also contain antioxidants, which reduce the risk of chronic diseases like heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. I add just a little bit of vegetable stock for better flavor. And next is rice. I always have two or three servings, human servings, of cooked rice in the fridge. I started from 20 minutes at first, but wanted to make it softer and cook it better. So these days I cook rice for about 23 minutes. Now I'm cooking salmon. I defrost one piece and use about one third per meal per dog. Here I'm mixing salmon with rice.
This day, I had mixed fresh greens, so I used them. Cookie's quite picky about greens and don't eat them when they are big, so I chop them pretty small. I also add some alga humin powder. We started feeding this to Cookie when she had a stomach issue. Back then, our vet prescribed this and I still put a little bit of this powder in dog food as it is made of natural ingredients. I looked up online to see what it does to dogs. Here it says, strengthening of the body's intestinal flora, mobilization of the natural defenses, protection against dehydration, strengthening of the immune system. Sounds all good. At first, I thought the smell was quite strong, but the dog seemed to like it. This time, I'm making a similar salmon-based food, but using broccoli instead of greens. And this one is with beef. I try to use lean parts and keep them in small plastic bags in the freezer. Whenever I need them, I take one bag out and use it for cooking. I usually don't use a scale to measure the amount. Now I'm starting to feel a little guilty. Do you guys measure food before giving it to your dogs? And now it's time to eat. For me, it's also important to watch them eat. It's because Tofi usually has a bigger appetite and tries to eat Cookie's leftover food. She gains weight easily, so I need to watch her. Cookie left carrots and potatoes. I need to put the bowl away quickly. One more thing not to forget, washing the water bowl. I didn't used to do it often, but I learned from another YouTuber, thanks Rachel for sorrow, that it's very important for dogs' health and hygiene. Now I wash the water bowl at least every other day. If you forget to do so, soon you will see the surface of the bowl get slippery and not clean. You learn something every day.